Hey guys, I'm back. Um, today we're going to do something a little different than the seed starting and gardening shows I've been doing lately. Um, this one's actually really special to me. A friend of mine, Dave, from Grown at Home in WV, he has his own company where he grows his own peppers, dries them, processes them, and then turns them into pepper blends of his own creation, and which he sells on his website, which there will be a link in the description. Uh, definitely check it out. Help support the guy. He's a really... He's an awesome guy, and uh, I really believe he's going to have a lot of success at this uh, venture of his. So before me, I have three of his sauces. I have the La Cuesta blend, the Twisted Sunrise, and the Reimagined. Um, he has many more than these three. Uh, wink, wink. Maybe uh, Dave might let me uh, review those. I don't know. Up to him. But just saying, for what I have right now are these three. Uh, these two. Do not actually have the labels on them because uh, he gave this to me when he was uh, down here visiting. And he didn't want to have to waste the labels because those things cost money printing that stuff off. So I assure you what's in here is the real deal. Uh, what I have done, as you can see from this one here, I put a little bit of the powder of each of these sampled into one corn chip. I'm going to eat one uh, chip of each with the powder inside of it. Let you know what I think, do a review, then I will tell you which one is my favorite and what I like about or don't like about it because Dave's a friend of mine, but I gotta be honest, I know, I give my, my opinion no matter what it is. Okay, so first up is the Reimagined. Uh, I think Dave, how he describes this, this is powdered hot sauce, for lack of better words. This is cayenne pepper, ghost pepper, and powdered or dehydrated vinegar. I didn't know you could even do that, but apparently you can. And no joke, this, smelling it, it, it smells like hot sauce, like a Louisiana style hot sauce, like, uh, I mean, not Tabasco, but something like that. Some of you would get like a vinegar based hot sauce, dehydrated into powder form. We're gonna give this a shot, see what we can taste, uh, see how it tastes, and I'll let you know what I think. Here we go. I think it's excellent. Quite honestly, this is a, uh, it's not too spicy. It's really not, adds a good a bit of heat to it. You get a lot of the cayenne, but with the back of the throat, you get a little bit of that extra kick from the ghost peppers on there. Uh, I don't taste the vinegar. I'm sure it's there, but it's not pronounced, if you know what I mean. So that might be a good thing for some people because not everyone likes that vinegar taste. But yeah, this is great. I really like this to reimagine. A little bit of water to Clear the palate out. All right, next up is the Twisted Sunrise. Yeah, check out the yellow on that. See, that's all yellow. All right, so, got some notes here. What is in the Twisted Sunrise? You may be asking yourself. Let's find out. These are all yellow varieties. So, yellow brain strain, yellow seven pot, yellow fatale, lemon habanero, yellow maruga scorpions, and lemon drop peppers. All of the yellow variety. I mean, I like the color, I do. I like the color on it. Uh, it looks almost like mustard powder, quite honestly. But I'm sure it's a lot spicier than mustard powder. All right, there we go. You can see some of the powder on there. And let's try this one out. Right away, I get that scorpion Maruga scorpion flavor. That to me is the most pronounced flavor of this blend. Personally, I don't like the way scorpions taste. That's just me. Um, so yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it's definitely much, much hotter than, than the reimagined. All those varieties of peppers in there, but quite honestly, mostly on the tongue. Last one got, got me a little back to the throat. This one's all in the tongue, front of the mouth. It's hot. Yeah, it is actually really hot. Huh. Yeah, otherwise, it's good. Like I said, I still only get that really a scorpion flavor, so to me, it's not my absolute favorite. That's not saying that it's not a good sauce or a good powder. Wouldn't make a good sauce, I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, it's good. It really is, but it's... Uh, is that something about that scorpion flavor? It's just not my thing, man. All right, a little bit of water. Okay, 
And last but not least, this one actually has a label. Check it out. See that or not, maybe? I don't know. La Cuesta, grown at home in WB. My tongue is still kind of tingling right now, so I'm kind of letting it calm down so I give a fair review for this one. Try to clear off the uh, clear the palette there a little bit. It's a little harder to see with the label on this one, but this is a dark, dark red. Uh, yeah, there we go. Seems like this is more of a smokier color as opposed to the reimagined ones, a bright red. This is a I don't know, I want to say brown, but you can definitely tell that this is a different color than this one. See, get a close up down here, this, see that? Boom. I right don't. All right, last but not least, La Cuesta, and I'm not 100% certain, and Dave, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this was his, one of his first blends that he ever made, so I know this is a seasonal. All right, La Cuesta is a 50-50 base of ghost peppers and habaneros. After that, he adds scorpion powder, awesome, Carolina Reaper powder, and Dex Bugla. There you go. Let's take something that's hot and make it even hotter. Why not? Here we go. Try this, my tongue has finally stopped burning, so I was definitely lingering on the, on the sides of the tongue that's, that twisted, that got me. All right, here we go, La Cuesta. Last but not least, let's try it out. Yeah, much smokier. That's good, I like that a lot. Yeah, this uh, twist that hit me, it was a sharp pins and needles kind of on the tongue. Well, this? Yeah, smoky, earthy, uh, it's hot, it's it's very, very hot, but it's not that sharp pins and needles type of stingy stuff going on, so yeah. All right, Dave, well, that's three of your uh, powders down. I think all three of these are excellent. Uh, I am actually partial to the reimagined. I think this is, uh, I just love this kind of flavor. I, always, I love these kind of hot sauces, so hot sauces in the powder form. Yeah, I love this stuff. I'd use this on everything. I put this on pizza, spaghetti, whatever. Yeah, the uh, Reapers and the Ghost in the La Cuesta is now starting to kick in. It is getting hotter by the second. It is absolutely building in the front of the mouth on the tongue. Yeah, definitely in the front of the mouth and the tongue is on fire and it's getting hotter and hotter. All right, folks, there you go. That's three powders by Grown at Home and WV uh, website, www.grownathome, I N, the word N, WV.com. Check it out. Uh, check out some of their other, other spice blends, pepper stuff going on there. Dave's a great guy. Support him. Uh, you will not be disappointed. Thanks for tuning in, and we will get you next time.